One of the most important reasons that many of our clients uh, uh, choose to use a database program like Masterpiece Manager version 10 is to help them get a handle on the enormous amounts of data that is produced by running their art or consignment business. That's um, inventory data, that's contact data, that's transactional data. And uh, to address that issue, what we've done is created uh, incredibly powerful tools everywhere where there's lots of data uh, that allow you to avoid having to run reports, uh, you know, to run, to run queries, to export information in databases, that, that kind of thing. And so anywhere where there's lots of information, for example, in the inventory uh, 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 lists or under your sales transactions or in your contact lists, we uh, provide this list capability. In this case, we're uh, going to demonstrate some of those capabilities in the inventory list. Um, actually, let me uh, reduce the size of this so we can see a, a little bit better uh, the information. Okay, what we're looking at is a list of all the inventory in this particular company profile. Uh, you'll see at the bottom here we've got 57 items. Imagine if there were 2,000 items or 5,000 or 10,000. Scrolling through that list to find what we're looking for would be you know, really tedious. Uh, so what we've built is some really simple and intuitive tools to help you get to information very quickly. Um, uh, for example, if you click on the header of any column in the data, uh, it will quickly sort that for you uh, from top to bottom or from bottom to the top. Okay? Uh, uh, you can also group your inventory. For example, if you wanted to see everything that you have for a particular category, rather than exporting a list and then sorting it in a data in a in a spreadsheet program, how about if you could just grab the top of that category list, drop it here where it says drag a column header and drop it here to group by that column, and instantly all of your inventory would be grouped by that category. And you could see uh, you know the six items that you grouped under the category digital or you can see the 23 items that you grouped under paintings okay you also have the ability to group by multiple criteria for example if you wanted to see all the mediums uh, associated under your categories you simply grab mediums right and an example of this would be say I wanted to see all of the oil paintings or all of the acrylic paintings that I have simply select paintings and you have those mediums grouped. We see that we've got one acrylic uh, painting and four uh, oils. If you want to see those four oils, you simply select that and there they are. Okay, Let's get rid of that filter uh, so we can show a couple of other things. Um, sometimes uh, uh, somebody asks us to find something and we don't know the specific artist name or the specific title uh, of a piece and we've got to search by what we do know. Okay, so for example, let's say we wanted to do a title search and we wanted to, to, to search uh, uh, by the information and we knew that the title contained something like maybe stop. Okay, we simply enter that, select, fil select filter and it will immediately take us to that piece, Pit Stop by David Wallace. Okay? And you can do that by any, by any column in, in the database uh, uh, list. Again, really simple, easy tools that allow us to get to what we're looking for. I'm going to clear that filter and show one last thing. Okay? Once we've created a filter, for example, let's say we wanted to, to just uh, uh, do a simple filter on all of our subjects by, no, let's say categories by um, originals. Okay? So everything in our, in our, in our uh, uh, database under originals and then we wanted to export that for to, for use in something else we simply then group that uh, uh, create that filter select export okay and then it's going to pop up the ability to say uh, to save this uh, in, a, in a spreadsheet format to our computer to a hard drive to a, to a, a thumb drive and then uh, we save that and now we've got that information Thing. Again, really powerful tools that allow you to get to what you're looking for very quickly with Masterpiece version 10.